Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Rose if you're new. Hey girl, hey. So today's video is a foundation review. Hello. So I'm going to be reviewing the Black Opal Stick Foundation. The thing about this foundation, guys, is a lot of people love this foundation and then a lot of people hate this foundation. I think there's no in-between. Also, one more thing, happy Easter. Thank you, Jesus. That's all. I've also already moisturized my skin, so I don't look dry and cracky for y'all. That's not that pretty, okay? Make sure you guys moisturize your skin. I will actually have a skincare routine coming up soon for you guys. I've been using a new product for the last, what, three, four months? And it's been <laughs> amazing. So my moisturizer today, I use the Garnier Moisture Rescue Moisturizer. So this is how the color Beautiful Bronze look, if you guys are wondering. And then this is how black walnut looks if you are wondering i think beautiful bronze is gonna work great for me so i'm just gonna use that all over my skin maybe we'll contour with black walnut we'll see i don't do much contour nowadays guys i've actually not primed my skin so i apply a little bit to my forehead and <laughs> i forgot to prime my skin guys i feel like sometimes when i'm filming i totally forget to prime but i'm going to be using the pores no more pore refiner i always prime my skin so why not prime it when i'm using a new foundation you know just to show you most people nowadays do prime their skin so i'm just gonna also apply a little bit of this primer i'm going to apply it right by my cheek area where i have more large pores and then where my makeup kind of cracks throughout the day so right by my laugh line you guys i know i'm not the only one that has like laugh line problems right so a little primer goes a long way y'all okay so i'm just gonna apply this onto my skin so i've been thinking to do foundation wednesdays like trying out different foundation every wednesday obviously i'm still gonna try to upload on sundays um but just make sure you guys watch it and check it out okay so that's my new thing that i'm going to do i like how this is looking so far i'm hoping it doesn't like break up throughout the day you guys i feel like i always say that you guys <laughs> but you guys did you see my new uh lookbook video that i did with hsn if you didn't, go check it out. It's a spring lookbook. I put a lot of work into that, so I would definitely appreciate it if you go and check it out and watch it. All right, guys, so I feel like I'm liking how it looks. Beautiful Bronze does run a bit more on the red-orange side, but we'll make that work with our powder. How do you guys, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. <laughs> then for my concealer today, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This concealer is also $3, so I'm usually using a lot of inexpensive products today that you can find in the drugstore. Alright guys, so I'm going to tell you the scoop. If I'm going to be 100% honest, a lot of people compare this concealer to the NARS concealer in the, like the shape and like the wand like this, which is great also really great for you to compare okay so the coverage of this concealer is pretty much just like the nars concealer it's medium to full coverage the only thing i personally think is the formula is a bit more different i think the nars radiant creamy concealer is a bit more creamier than this one this one is creamy but it kind of comes off a little dry on the skin if i'm going to be honest not really somewhat if you want it inexpensive but honestly i was never a fan of the nars one guys i'm just being real honest here so I wouldn't recommend either or. I would definitely recommend the MAC Pro Longer Concealer, if you're wondering. Or even the LA Girl Concealer, which is like a dollar, guys. So inexpensive. Alright, so I'm going to set my skin with my powder. This is a Ben 9 Luxury Powder, and this is an olive sand, if you're wondering. A little olive sand there. Alright guys, so this is my final look for today. I just finished doing the rest of my makeup, if you are wondering. So... Right now, it's around 12.50, pretty much almost 1 p.m., okay, if you are wondering. So I'm going to keep this foundation on for about 5 to 7 hours. We're going to see how long it lasts. Is it, okay, actually amazing that you need to check it out, or is, is it, okay, <laughs> actually terrible that you just do not waste your money. Save your coins. Don't waste your money, okay? So we're going to see how long it lasts. I'm going to take you guys along, so come along. So I'm just having peanut butter on toast. It's like my go-to like snack. It's really inexpensive because we're on a budget. And I also have some water there, my charger, random things. About to start editing, looking at the reel because they're cray cray. <laughs> right now, if you guys are wondering, it's around 3.50. So it's been officially three hours with this foundation on. I'm just going to, we're just going to get a little closer. <laughs> So this is one side, and this is the other side. I think most of us will definitely do this throughout the day. Like, I do this all the time instead of using more powder. So I'm just going to mattify the skin, and we're also going to see how much uh, <laughs> products comes off. I don't want to take off my lash. I'm like... <laughs> That's how it looks. Hello. 
not so pretty i'm loving the foundation so far i will update you guys again in a second but what i'm doing right now is i'm actually gonna i need to start making dinner so this is what i'm wearing if you guys are wondering <laughs> um this dress is actually from h&m <laughs> No, no, it's from Zara, girl. It's from Zara. Um, but pretty much what I'm doing now is I'm going to make some dinner. When the sunrise lasts forever And it's all you and me We'll kiss the sky goodnight Alright guys, so I went ahead and put my meat in the tray. So I'm just popping it in the oven for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes and let it bake. Well, you guys will see this video. It will be Sunday, which is Easter, and I'm probably going to be at church. I'm at church all day, which I love. I'm so thankful that I get to do that. And that's something that's never a burden. And I think it's just like, God is like, ah, oh, this is where we meant to be, you know? So I think Easter is going to be a new season for a lot of people. Um, I'm praying it's a season of breakthrough for me with my finances because I just want to get that together so badly. Like, I'm like, Jesus, please. What I like about these videos is like, it's like a mini vlog at the same time. And like, you get to actually know who I am and not like, hey guys, I'm going to do talking about makeup or I'm going to be doing this makeup look. I don't even do, I mean, I do tutorials, but I don't do as much as I used to do because I'm like, Try to just like, let's just like, I realize like, I'm always like, and this is something again, I know all my flaws guys, I know all my flaws, so I can put it out there on the table for you because I know I'm a work in progress. So, one of my flaws is, is I'm always like, go, 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 go. Live in the moment, hold on, hold on. <laughs> This is why I bought this journal from Papyrus and it says live in the moment because it's something I literally need to learn and I think I'm learning it much better and I like sometimes I have to stop and say hey Rose relax yourself take a deep breath like relax yourself live in the moment take each step at a time and I think over my past what I've done YouTube consistently since I was in probably a freshman or sophomore so I would say my past three or four years I've done this consistently um it has been more of like oh i'm just trying to like okay i always want to grow always want to grow always want to reach these numbers and obviously i still want to grow i think that's important and that shows a lot but also i want to make sure i'm living in the moment i want to make sure you're i'm carrying you at every step of my life and every journey and i'm also being authentic with you um, i'm not perfect and things happen in life which i don't even tell you about because i think those things are sometimes should be private for me and jesus not always for you to know i love you though you my girl hey <laughs> but um just living in the moment is just something that we all need to learn and like i think now on youtube like there's so much people and it's so oversaturated and it's just unbelievable how oversaturated it is but if you ever want to make youtube videos i will say go ahead there's room for you even though it's super oversaturated like i don't think you'll find someone who has which makes me happy because it's like i'm just being authentically myself so it feels beautiful to do that but i don't think you you would find someone who is um just like me in every way which is great that's a great thing about youtube and i'm not perfect i'm still working on a couple things especially when it comes to filming like i want to make sure i give you guys good quality videos because you deserve it so if that means uploading one video a week for you to get a good quality video okay until then i'm gonna do one or two video a week um but yeah so i really appreciate it when you guys take the time to watch my videos obviously because would i love this to be my full-time job i don't know i'd love it to be my part-time job ish and i would love to do something else part-time i don't know i before i really wanted to be my full-time i love what i get to do but social media is a lot can we just talk about that <laughs> like i said before so i'm thankful for where i am i'm gonna stop blabbering i'm going to finish edit this video again take anything from this video you better take live in the moment all right guys the so dinner is ready the chicken is ready the pasta is all drained and this is a final look so the pasta, the meat, and then I put some pineapples on the side. I needed a little, uh, something a little bit healthy-ish on it. So, that's that. Alright guys, so I'm coming in for my last checking of the day. The last time I checked in was around 3, so that was 3 hours. So, it's been 3 more hours, so now it is, okay, 
6 around 6 like a little past 6 but there <laughs> so I wanted to go ahead and update you guys on the foundation yes I'm looking a bit greasy and oily so one thing I've noticed with this foundation it's like every three hours I somehow get greasy in those areas or oily in those areas so you might have to kind of set those areas every like two to three hours or blot it just keep an eye on it which is very frustrating that's a negative or con a second thing I've noticed is if you have dry skin this might actually be a really great foundation for you because it's so like absorbing and so creamy and so hydrating if you have oily skin like myself again you might have that greasy two to three hour problem like me you get a good amount of product with the foundation i did like how it looked on my skin i'm just gonna bring you guys a little closer you're getting real close here okay real close my friends you are really my friend so if you can see i feel like it kind of really like i don't know why i kind of have this breakout thing going on but it, it's happening I like how it looked at first. We're gonna go move away, move away. <laughs> I liked how it looked at first when I put on the foundation, but the last four to five hours, I haven't liked how it stayed on on my skin. I feel like it really kind of broke apart, which I don't really, I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, so would I repurchase this? Probably not. But let's say, for example, you're going to go take pictures for like an hour or two. Definitely recommend this because it looks flawless in pictures and also on camera. But it's not the most long-lasting everyday foundation I think you should wear. You should definitely try it to like highlight and contour. I've tried it before for that, but I haven't tried it for a foundation. So that's my final thoughts on it. Would I repurchase it? No! Boo! <laughs> Let me know if you guys have any other questions about this foundation from Black Opal. It's a great foundation, but not the most long-lasting. But thank you guys again for taking the time to watch. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Also, make sure you subscribe down below. I upload new foundation videos every week so definitely check them out i love you and i'll see you guys soon bye guys